Alright, what's up YouTube? Today I am playing some Automation, which is a great game because if you're an engineer like me, you get to build stuff and it's oh, just fun stuff, fun stuff. You actually get to learn about the uh, internals of cars and all the different parts and how to actually tune a car to make, you know, either be extremely fuel efficient or make massive massive amounts of horsepower so today I figured we would do some scenarios and uh, you can give me feedback on whether or not you like the game I find the game very enjoyable uh, but yeah let's see here uh, we'll do an inline four engine and then let's see. Hmm. hmm. We'll do a uh, hatchback GTI. Uh, or. Hmm, this looks like it'd be pretty fun. With just enough power to get customers up steep hills, but not enough to for them to actually have any fun. Uh, that's not what we want to do. We want to actually do something that's fun. It's a new engine for an upcoming sports variant of their hot response. Of this engine must also be future proof and use regular unleaded petrol. Alright, so. You know what? I haven't done. Back. That's what I want. I haven't done a V8 engine yet, so let's do a V8 engine. Um, All right, yeah, we'll do we'll do the easy one. See what it's see what this is all about. So V8. All right, so this is what you see. There's they're gonna be adding more options into everything. Uh, engine block, you know, block material, the actual capacity of the motor, head valves, va head material, uh, VVL. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. There's VVT, crank, conrods, pistons, the whole shebang, I mean, all the way down, all the way down the line. A bunch of stuff, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, I guess I'll go with a V, and we'll do an 8-cylinder. Whoa, let me zoom out here a little bit, that way we can actually see the motor. And we'll start with cast iron. The difference between V and V flat pane is, I don't know if it actually shows a difference. I think it's actually the order, yeah. It's the order of the of the crankshaft in the uh in the engine. And let me do something really quick. Notice that you couldn't see my mouse. There we go. Now we can see my mouse. Alright. So we'll start with the regular V because the flat plane is actually a little bit more expensive to build. We'll leave it at uh can we make that oh can we make it actually four thousand? Oh well. Anyways, uh we're gonna just do, you know, cheap, cheap all the way through. You actually when you build in I don't know if the game actually takes this into account, but in real life you don't want to have two different types of metals in the same with the same liquid in it. So uh, aluminum and iron touching each other is act, will actually cause a reaction in between the metals and cause the uh, basically creates a battery. So then your 
oil and everything else starts to break down and eat eat your motor so you always want to have the same material so if you do an aluminum block you want to have aluminum heads but I don't think it's as bad if you do something like cast iron with an aluminum head but it's better just to leave it as iron if you're gonna do it we'll do cast iron crank with cast iron con rods that's not right there should be oh okay I see what it did now. I see what it did and I mean you have your different all the way up to the I-beams which are in race cars so and then pistons and then it actually starts the animation for you and then the actual variant capacity which is the amount of capacity that you physically want to use and we want to use every bit of it so we'll leave it at that quality actually adjusts how much like say you have if you bump your quality up it's like having a specialist work on those parts for you so the quality of the parts go up and in turn the tuning of everything also goes up if you bump the quality up we'll leave it at zero for now compression cam profile blah 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 bvl blah vvt we don't want vvt aesthetics we can you know change it make it look cool we'll do you know good old fashioned and we'll make them red. Yeah, I like the red. All right, and then naturally aspirated. <laughs> naturally aspirated. That's what I like. Uh, the game is capable of doing turbos, superchargers, everything else. They just haven't put them in yet. Now, I mean, you can go all the way balls to the wall down to water with huge. Go away. Go away. I don't remember how to go away. How do you get to go away? Maybe I'll change page. Yeah, all the way to where you have like a huge water intercooler and all sorts of stuff. So, but we're not doing that, so we'll just turn that off. Um, because it's supposed to be cheap. And then you got, you know, we'll start with carburetor. Ooh, single barrel. We don't want single barrel. Let's do... We'll do a four barrel for now. Do a twin card four barrel? Nah, we'll just leave it alone. We'll do a standard intake and we have to run what is it? Regular unleaded. So that I think that's it. Regular. Yeah, regular unleaded. And then all your we'll mess around with this quite a bit once we get everything adjusted we want. Good old fashioned single exhaust, snow valves, make it two inches. Uh, two way, baffled, baffled. This is where we get to actually test the engine and see how how well we built the engine. And you just you can do either actually test it yourself Yeah, and right off the start, it's not going to run because due to knock and blah, blah, blah. So, go back. Let's see here. And this is where it brings up all your info screen. So, we're having knock. So, if we bring this up. Reaching it. Whoop. That helps that. And then if we... Lower the RPMs down to like 5,000. Uh, let's see if we advance the curve. Our power goes down, so we'll retard the curve a little bit. Does it go up? Yeah, it does. Performance index has to be higher than 130. What is our performance index? 63. That is horrendous. But we'll get there. 1800 bucks cost 1200 bucks so we can go back through and physically adjust some performance so instead of push rod we can do direct acting overhead cam and that'll help performance wise how much money did that cost well, not much 
Can we go overhead cam? Ooh, can we do a dual overhead cam? Oh, let's go full fledged four cam. Or uh, four valve. Yeah. I'm liking it. Liking it a lot. And then adjust the. Adjust your, your compression. Knock it down to nine for reliability's sake. 9.3 seems to be pretty good right now. And we'll leave it at a pretty level cam. Uh, so we're getting some restriction. None of the internals are actually failing anymore. So that's all good. So both we're getting restrictions in airflow and in intake and exhaust. So we'll go to the intake side of it and we will switch to dual over dual, uh, we can switch to a four leave it a four barrel and we'll bump it up to twin carb with a performance intake and then if we bump the exhaust oh look at there and we won ta-da we completed it so we'll continue to we'll bump this up until it actually does it ever breathe? Ah, uh, okay. Let's go back down to like mm, 2.5. And we'll switch this to. There we go. And if we bump it up, do we actually make more power? So everything. Everything's green. Now. It's showing that our horsepower is cutting is at the very end of our RPM range, which means if we can have the motor physically, if the motor can survive more RPMs, we can get more horsepower out of the engine. It doesn't look. There it is. So 6,400 RPMs is where the engine actually makes the most power. So we'll RPM limit the engine to. 6500 and there we go so if we move this back up to 50 uh, back it down a little bit that way we can drop the RPM range and Has to be less than 1800 and reliability higher than 45. Well, sugar honey iced tea. Where's our reliability? 45. So, and then our money is gone through the roof. So, if we do that, 1800. Hmm. Two barrel? There we go. If it's a two barrel, we could do triple. Oh, no, too expensive. So, we lose a bunch of horsepower doing that, but we're also getting not now. So, if we come back over here and readjust and. It's running rich, so we need to. Knocking it in. Now it's running good again. So we'll actually go on over here and I'll let you listen to what the actual dyno sounds like. It's pretty impressive the sounds that they've actually put in the game. And we can actually physically watch it run. So that's it. So we bring it shows our power. We got made it, and you can you can actually work your way up and get silver, gold, and then I think 
platinum is like the highest level but those can take quite a bit of working back and forth trying to figure stuff out and you know you also have to worry about like since our time frame is 1987 stuff like fuel injection I think actually costs a crap ton so yeah going from a carburetor the motor goes from being 1700 bucks to build to $3,500 because it's 1987 and fuel injected is like something only Ferraris had back then so stuff like that um fun game it's not quite complete yet obviously I mean there's gonna be multiplayer and campaign where you can like supposedly multiplayer is where you and your a friend can co-op together and build a car company from the ground up and you can design cars and work together and help with the business and the backside of everything but if you actually go into sandbox mode like here I've built a car earlier if I load it I think vice car so if I yeah okay so I built this car old, earlier it's sorta of supposed to replicate a RX-7 FC I mean it's not exactly but you know you can you can kinda tell and uh, you know you go through I don't think that's actually doing anything oh yeah it's cause you have to come down here there's actual like all these different things that you have to do so you can do Here's the actual engine portion of it where it's got a, you know, six cylinder and it makes a crap ton of horsepower, I think. Or it's a four banger, actually. And it makes massive amount of power and it actually sounds really cool going around the track because I like naturally aspirated motors. So when I build motors in this game, I like the RPM range to be pretty pretty doggone high and the limit in this game is 12,000 I haven't been able to actually build a motor that'll run at 12,000 rpms without breaking yet but I've made this one to where it's pretty reliable um, and you continue on forward and this down here gives you an idea of where you're at in the scheme of building stuff that the scenarios doesn't really give because it's all engine based in the scenario portion so there's my motor itself running um, and you can you know go from having the whole thing together to having just watching the crankshaft turn around and you continue on and you get to pick your transmissions you know what uh, what kind of differentials you want your ratios top speed all this stuff and your wheels oh no no! So, if we go back to here, that's what I'm. Okay, I wanted that to go away. So you can change, you know, your transmission, all this stuff. I hate sequential gearboxes. Takes away from driving. Takes away from physically driving the car. To you know, size of your tires and what kind of wheels are on the car and size of your brakes what type of pads you want you know do they make a lot of noise but they stop really well you know solid discs vented carbon ceramic how many pistons you want and this I mean the list is numerous 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 you know your inside comfort I built a car a sports car and, I was, and at, to me the only thing that a sports car should have is a nice radio that you can plug your iPhone or your iPod or something into and listen to music and enjoy just physically driving the car there shouldn't be anything else in the interior that obstructs your view other than gauges that are very important <clears throat> so that's all this car has it's just you know your basic your basic stuff and it's got power steering and analog brakes which is I think now in the US Power steering, analog brakes, traction control, stability management are all required for a car to f pass inspections to be built.
This is new. I haven't seen this before. Don't know what that is. Actually, I'd have to look that up in the tech notes. But like, you know, all these custom tuning setups, which I haven't actually fiddled around with these and messed with cambers and spring stiffness and stuff. I just went sport bunk and said, all right, let's go test it on the Top Gear test track, which is pretty legit. It's not called Top Gear test track, but it clearly is Top Gear test track, which is pretty neat. And then you can physically watch your car go around the track and see how it does performance-wise. As you can see, it actually handles pretty well because it's pulling more than one G around the corner. Alright, so y you get the gist of it. And it'll actually run the whole thing and give you a lap time and so on and so forth. So you can go over here to detailed stats and it'll tell you what, how your car does, you know. Drivability, it's a fairly easy car to drive, you know. Um, sportiness it's quite high because that's kind of what I intended it for comfort not so much yeah you know it's a sports car it's not supposed to be comfortable prestige and safety it's kind of high safety for a good sports car but uh you know let's see here and there's all sorts of different little buttons that you can push let's see what does it actually does this tell me my lap time no, zero to sixty in seven seconds. That's pretty fast for a four banger. Uh, but yeah. So you know, let me know what you think about the game. I plan on playing it quite a bit. I don't know how many videos I will I will record because my channel is more about driving games than you know building cars. But I love them so much, so I might actually do it because it's kind of what I like to do and you just watch it and enjoy it and if you don't enjoy it you can go watch something else because I don't run ads because it's all for fun for me but yeah so you know if you think I should keep going with this hopefully in the near future the game will be closer to actually being completed um, but if you think I should keep going just you know like or comment or whatever you know, else you think you should do Alright, naturally aspirate, out.